My name is Rachel Dawn Lincoln, and I go by the artist name Radali. I'm going to talk to you about my photograph that became part of the cover of the book, And Then Run. The photograph was taken when Arvin Vora and myself and a few other people were coming back from a political event. As we turned the corner, I saw an opportunity for an awesome photo. I would describe the mood of this photograph as ominous and foreboding. What I like about this photograph is the contrast between the night sky and the bright streetlight. I'm really excited to have my photograph be part of the cover of something as groundbreaking and epic as a then run. I'm Arvind Vora, new media outreach director for Roland Media Distribution, and in this case, cover photo model for the book and then run. It's obviously a huge honor to be on the cover of something as edgy as And Then Run, and it's just as exciting to be able to work on the media outreach for And Then Run. What's really amazing about this photograph is that it captures that central duality in And Then Run. In the book And Then Run, you see the main character, Jerome Esterson, at two different points in his life, one when he's 25 years old and one when he's 39 years old. And if you look to the right, of the face in this photograph, you see actually a silhouette of another face, one that looks much older. This photograph is called Man and His Shadow, and there's that first shadow that you see, the silhouette, but what most people don't notice about this photograph is there's actually a second shadow, this kind of ominous character near the bottom of the picture that, you know, you don't really know who this guy is, but that he brings that kind of sense of foreboding, that just shady kind of darkness that's so central and so relevant and connected to the mood of End Then Run. Another cool subtlety about this photograph is if you look at the trees, the trees are lit up by some kind of a street light or some kind of backlight, and it gives them this kind of almost flame-like glowing uh, appearance, which makes it seem that the main character is almost like breathing fire. Now, those of you who've read the story know how significant that is to the central ideas of the story that relate to ideas of rhetoric and public speaking. I mean, the idea of breathing fire could not be more central to the main themes in End Then Run. What we did in the cover is we took all the colors out and made it just a grayscale black and white image to really capture that sense of night and darkness that you feel in End Then Run. You know, what so many people say about the book End Then Run is even in the daytime scenes it sometimes somehow feels like it's always night in the story, even when it's broad daylight. And we really wanted to capture that in the cover.